I'm very surprised Deli Ali's not included in that. Like really it surprised. It is very surprising. He has been so good this season. 16 goals. Um, find me a player of, in his position of his age that's ever surpassed that. No one. He, he scored more goals than Gerard Lampard, and Beckham at his age combined, which is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal for someone at his age. He's just turned 21. We have such a player on our hands. He scored million. more than Berbatov scored for us. Yeah, he scored yeah, same amount of goals. He did have a bit of a slow start to the season. Yeah, um, but come on. Kane didn't have a slow period. He didn't play. They cast their votes so early. Yeah. They cast their votes in like February or something. And you know, Ali has scored 12 goals in his last 14 games. But before that, he only scored four in 16. Right. So when the votes were so cast... I can see where they're coming from slightly. Slightly, but it's basically it's stupid. Who just thinks he's going to win it? Um, it's going to have to be Kante, I think. It's For this season and last season Yeah, exactly, combined, because yeah. they didn't give it to him last season. I'd have to agree with you. He's so consistent, yeah. But, but Harry Kane... He 22 games he started this season. He gets nominated for Player of the Year. That shows you what quality striker we yeah. have on our hands. There's no doubting that one season wonder. <laughs> was it two? Was it three? <laughs> I mean, I'm losing track of how many season wonders this guy's doing. Um, no, next year is definitely going to be uh, the year where he uh, falters. <laughs> yeah, next year. Actually, next year. Actually, yeah, we'll get found out next year. We'll get found out next year. 19 Premier League goals, 22 starts. The guy is a phenomenon, really. He's uh, on track uh, to beat Jimmy Greaves. Yeah, he's, <laughs> on he's, he's going to become Highest a Premier League goal scorer. scorer. He's, he's absolutely fantastic. And he's such an all-round striker as well. He's got everything to his game. And it really shows he, a guy who starts 22 Premier League games and gets nominated for Player of the Year. That, you know, that really shows yeah. what, what a quality striker he is. And he gets nominated. You know, he won Young Player of the Year two years ago. And he's yeah. still in that category. I know. It's, un- it's unbelievable, actually, how he is still in that category. He feels like yeah. he's like he's an established old player. He, obviously, Ali's a shoo-in for that award, Young Player of the Year. So who, so who was uh, who's up against Deli Ali? So he's got Kaku, Jordan yeah. Pickford, Michael Keane, Leroy Sane. And uh, he's up against Harry Kane as well. well um, I kind of think the closest would be Kane and Sane. You'd think so. Um, uh, uh, Sane kind of only also, like Ali, came on, kind of grew into the season. But he's really come good the last couple he of years. He's, he's been phenomenal. He's such a good young player as well. Yeah. But the thing is, if Lukaku finishes top goal scorer, how can he, and he, won't, he, how can he not win an award? Yeah, he's had a good season, but I st- still, still, Kante has just swept the... He's been amazing. So we're saying Deli Ali Young Player of the Year and Kante Player of the Year, unfortunately. I think so. He kind of deserves recognition of what he's done. If Chelsea go on and win the league this season, which you know he has, to, he deserves. He he's deserves like a some little sort of recognition. In that midfield, isn't he? <laughs> Who do you think should be Young Player of the Year? Who do you think should be Player of the Year? Comment below.